Hey everyone, if you're new here, I'm Tuff, and today we're diving deep into path tracing render settings, covering everything from samples to lighting quality. I have my project opened here, and I will now go to my level sequencer to show my camera settings. These same settings work for post-process volume. Before changing any settings, make sure hard ray tracing is enabled for path tracing in your project settings. Then Unreal Engine will restart and you're good to go. Now we can change lit mode to path tracing, remember that, once you switch to path tracing your scene can be laggy, it depends on your machine, and you can see a progress bar in viewport, that shows if how long it'll take to load the scene. The progress depends on the samples you're using for your render, now let's move to the details panel of our camera or, post-process volume, settings will be same for both. Let's search for path tracing in search bar, and now as you can see that my max bounce is value set to 32 which is default and if I switch it to 42, the progress will get slower but the render will be looking really nice with more bounces, and if you want to load your scene faster, you can change samples from 3500 to 200, but it'll decrease the quality of your renders, it's good if you want to see how your scene appears, and if you can play with the value so you can find perfect value that's faster and have nicer quality to check your scene. I'm setting the sample's value at 1000, because it's loading faster and scene looking really nicer than before, for next two settings I enabled was perfect for my scenes, reference depth of field and reference atmosphere will improve your scene, in the most cases they'll increase quality of your scene, on rare cases it won't chain anything. So I highly recommend you to use it. And now for denoiser, I personally don't use it because it's not good enough. Instead of this, try using Topaz Labs AI to remove noise, but the settings I will use for my renders, after that trust me you don't need any denoiser. Using 1000 samples and denoiser don't make any difference scene, but if I use 200 samples and use denoiser you will notice the difference clearly, you can use it on new version of Unreal Engine like 5.4.4 and 5.5, because denoiser got improved on newer versions. But I still prefer to use more samples rather than less samples and denoiser, I just wanted to show you how it works. And we're done with our path tracing settings in camera or post-process volume, let's move to the movie render queue settings, I will give best settings for movie render queue, which will be faster and have highest quality possible. First delete the JPG and deferred rendering from render config and we will add anti-aliasing, console variables, color output, add PNG because I'm not gonna color grading after render, but if you want to do color grading you can render with EXR 16-bit format, and now instead of deferred rendering, we adding path tracer. Now let's move to the most important part of this render is anti-aliasing, first thing you have to enable is override anti-aliasing and change it to temporal super resolution, I have set spatial sample count to 159 and temporal sample count to 10. Spatial sample count directly affect on path tracing samples, and if we add temporal sample count, it will multiply and it'll be total of 1590 samples. We may get this error, to fix this we have to increase anti-aliasing samples with console command, because on default it's set to 8, I will give the command in description. I set it to 2000, and now you can disable and enable anti-aliasing, and your error will be fixed, also we have to use samples in odd number, because temporal super resolution don't support even value of samples. On color output, just click on disable tone curve, and for console variables, I'm only gonna use 4 of them, really simple one, I will add 4 of them in video description, or you can read while I type them. Choose screen percentage value according to your resolution output and your GPU. I forgot to add game overrides, before starting my render, but you guys need to add game overrides to increase the quality of textures in renders. 
It took 5 minutes to render one frame. With these settings renders are faster and good. Now I will show how to fix lighting and reflections on my GPU in path tracing. Now let's go back to path tracing settings. For lighting if you see a lot of artifacts or overwhelming lighting, you can just decrease max path exposure here. And play with bloom settings as well if you want to fix overwhelming reflections. After changing all this my scene is looking perfect to me. Always keep scalability to cinematic while checking your scene on path tracing because it'll give you exact idea of how your scene will appear after render. Render settings will improve your renders for sure since we're using better settings than regular ones. While editing your scene you can always use high or medium depends on your machine. There's one tip I wanted to give to all my fellow creators is that if you keep your object scale really small in your scene then path tracing renders will be really faster because it won't have too much load on your GPU. For example look at my viewport. There's one problem you can face while using small scales that sometimes depth of field won't look good on small scale objects. I hope this helped everyone who watched this video.